have still so much to explore. That was one of the biggest things. I wanted more city roads and stuff like that. And I think they've definitely delivered this year. This, we got the trolleys again. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yep. Link and cashback code in the description. False crap, I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that balling. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah. What it do? Penthouse man. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back today, guys, to the channel. Back here for the Horizon 4. Today, I wanted to take a look at the map, man. It's something that we haven't really got to see yet. Uh, I've been still yet to really explore around the map. What the hell did I just do right there? This four wheel drift setup, though, I don't know, man. It makes the wheel just feel really weird on the car. But we're going to test out a bunch of the cars. I have them all unlocked for today. I went ahead and already purchased them. Now, of course, it's going to be super slippery with these cars, right? So we've got to be really careful Our with Our Horizon this. scouts won't stop blathering about Ooh. some classic car abandoned nearby. Come help me find it and shut them up, will you? So that's what I want to do for today. Just go ahead and explore some of the new parts around the map. Test out the new Formula Drift cars as we do it. And hopefully, uh, we can find some new things on this day, man. This car is extremely hard to drive with this camber kit on here, the steering angle kit, whatever the hell they've done. It's tough, man. It definitely is tough, especially with the wheel. I don't know what it is, but it just it makes it feel really weird on here. But maybe we'll take it off. We'll have to wait and see. Well, thank you guys so much for watching once again for today. And don't forget to slap that like button. It doesn't show the driver names on the actual car. It would have been cool to actually show who drove these cars. But uh, 325i BMW. This thing is really nice, man. Wide body kit, 750 horsepower, S-Class, 837, rear wheel drive, right? We're just going to go for a little rip. Ooh, there we go. Nope, nope, yep, yep. I feel like Frederick Osbo in that damn snow video that he did in this Corvette, I think it was. That shit was nuts, man. I'm pretty sure it was Frederick Osbo. Could be wrong, but... Surprised and not... Oh, yeah really surprised to see, you know, Frederick, you know, Ryan Turk, Chris Forsberg not make the cut this year. But I'd really like to see those drivers in there. I guess they're just super busy with a lot of things. They couldn't offer up the cars, I guess. I really don't know, but we're going up some uncharted territory, I feel like. We're trying to, at least. Look at this, man. Fourth gear, ripping it. Can't wait to see what happens when we get the damn big 12, 1300 horsepower cars up here. It's going to be almost damn near impossible for traction. Swing it. 400 yards. There we go. Turn right. Oh my goodness. We have a bonus board right there. I want to turn around and get that, I feel like. We're exploring the map. That includes getting the bonus boards. When you see them, right? You gotta do it. Turn around when it is safe to do so. I go right in there, sir. Sorry about all the mess. Right through the wall. Whip it back this way, yep. Just nicked that wall. Just tipped it, man. Oh, shit. I'm curious to see what the temperature is right now. It's 28 degrees Fahrenheit right there. The last time I checked this, it was 46 degrees Fahrenheit. It is now 29 degrees, which is negative 1.6 degrees Celsius. So it's just underneath the negative, looks like. Definitely. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It looks pretty cold though out here, man. Look at this. You got the frost. I'm sure as you know, as it gets colder, you're gonna see the frost building up on the windows and stuff like that. That would be pretty cool to see. But this car has been a lot of fun though. It looks damn well good though. This is probably one of the nicest looking cars in the pack, I feel like. Next to the Viper, right? I love my Vipers. There's quite a few 240s. Let's give one more rip though, man. One more rip. Can't see anything. I was a blind corner. No lift! Oh! Should have lifted. Simple as that, right? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and change up cars here. Up next here, uh, this one is number 18, 240 SX. Rain X 240 as well. Look at that. I don't think I've ever seen a car with the supercharger sticking out of the hood like that before. Pretty sure that's a Forza first right there, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, easy money right there. It's another big old damn V8. That's what this whole pack is. It's just V8s, man. It's crazy. Except for the Dodge Viper, though, that's a V10, but, you know. So this is a train track right here. I've yet to see the train at all on this game. Not once have I seen the train. Well, that's uh, first time exploring El Paso area here. Let's just quickly see where we are on the map. 
So we're slowly going towards it. Oh, there's a barn find right there. You seen that? I've seen that. I'm going to try not to uh, find too many of these on this episode. It's just an exploring the map episode, man. I want to see some cool things out there. Explore some roads, and that's about it. I found a tunnel. Whoa. That's going to be sick to hear cars rip through there. This looks pretty damn nice up here. Look, see all those trees and everything? I mean, look at all the areas, man. I feel like there's so much to explore this year. Oh, this is a damn tight spot, looks like. I got you. See, it just looks so sketchy on the wheel, man. I mean, this this whole extra steering lock thing is just its a little weird. I feel like the wheel physics are not completely up to par for it yet, but we're going to make do. This is our first time in the city center, though. This is pretty cool, man. Just cruising up. Look at how big this looks on the map. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad I brought one of these cars. Right, here we go. Okay, so we're going to just go ahead and take a left. Here, right here. Maybe in the right. Yep, thank you. I don't know what this is exactly, but a pretty damn nice little drift section right here. Now that's really all that we're doing today, babe. We're just looking for some nice drift sections. We got a nice little bend. I see this bend coming up. I got you. Six gear. Come on, no lift, no lift. Oh, shit, backy. It's fun, another big old damn V8 out there, just smoking tires for us. Let's go with the Mustang. This thing looks sick, 986 horsepower, 832 foot-pounds of torque. I'm really happy that we're not in some heavy snowstorms out here. You know, it's just, the roads are nice and clear. Oh, yeah, I don't even have to put a lot of pressure on it. Just run it on the bird out, man, this is sick. Let's go through some of the camera angles here. We got the whole handbrake. Tell me he grabs the handbrake, that would be sick. I'm gonna try it. There we go. No, he does not grab the handbrake. Disappointed, man. No, I shifted that properly. Look at that view. That's a nice-ass view, though. Hood view. Okay, we're going back into where we just came from. I'm going to head back into here because there are some nice spots. This does connect over here, looks like, to another spot in the city. So we're just going to just do our thing. Look at the damn integration in here. Just figure eights on figure eights. This is sick. Oh, my God. This is a nice little spot. So we try to stay in the throttle if we can. Fourth gear seems to be pretty buttery around here. We're getting some flurries as well, too, so that's not going to help our traction issue. Damn! Just was able to save that, obviously. We definitely lost it on there. The steering kit is just ridiculous. Woo! They just got into an accident. i seen that. You guys okay? Okay. Driving off. No need for insurances, right? They're okay. Whipping it. As long as you just stay in the throttle, right? I mean, anything's possible with these cars. This area, though, holy shit, man. This is a really fun little area, and it's huge. Like, this is this is not a small little town right here. This is big. We're going to go to the center over here. I feel like we have still so much to explore. That was one of the biggest things. I wanted more city roads and stuff like that. And I think they've definitely delivered this year. Look at this. We got the trolleys and got it. Yep. Oh, yep. Just gotta make my way through here, man. Making my way downtown. Well, right, you know what I'm saying? That's terrible. I'm sorry. I can't sing. I like the song, though, sometimes. I see a board. Sorry. That's uh, public property damage right there. Yep. Look at that downhill right there. Tell me you see that downhill. We're going to go around and hit that downhill. We can also make that an uphill. Nice little... Yeah. Right up here. Yeah, thank you. Handbrake comes in handy, man. It's sloppy, but... It's all that we can do. Wow, this is some nice back roads here. And, of course, we can probably fly right off of this as well. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I felt like I needed... Ugh. But correction, you can't fly off of these. The rail's there. This is a nice little spot here, though. Look at 
the slush, man. I love looking at those back tires as we're drifting through this. Wow, this is gorgeous, man. It's all first time seeing any of this. I've never seen any of the city before. This is really cool. With all these fresh roads being unlocked as well, too, right? I mean, that's the best thing, just seeing these roads open up. Oh, sh yeah, I didn't... It'd be crazy if Dan Forza had cops or something like that, man. Just imagine if this was GTA, you know, in that sense, and we had this realistic driving in the game, right? I mean, it would be incredible. It would be something really cool. Hopefully, though, right? I mean, GTA 6, it's possible. We'll have some crazy physics or something. Look at this. Here we go. Look at the burnout. This thing looks so good. I love this car. Ford Mustang ripping up some of these city streets, but I think it's had its time. It's done. We're pulling out the Viper, man. We're in a perfect spot. We're in a perfect city right here. This looks to be like some fun. So let's go ahead, grab this. And we're just going to do some freestyling, man. 900 degrees of rotation out here. Fanatic V2.5 rig. Club Sport rim add-on. Jeez, look at that turbo just spinning. Okay, yeah. We got people not really happy I'm in the way. Sorry, guys. Yep. Hold on. We got ourselves a roundabout. First ever roundabout here on Forza Horizon 4. It's a small one. But this guy's got to get out the way, man. Move. Son of a bitch. Go. My roundabout. Oh my, everyone had to join me today, eh? as soon as I came here, everyone just doing the same thing. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's definitely hard to hold this thing, we're going to try one more time. We really just go almost full lock on it and just hold it. There we go, here we go. That secret sauce right there. Oh, look at it. She's so good. Oh, shit. Sorry. Okay. We're going to settle down here for a second. I got a little rowdy pretty fast. I'm not going to lie here. We're probably going to take a right. Why'd there have to be somebody right there? Take this right out of the city. Oh, my God. She's so slippery. There's everywhere I go. There's a nice little spot over here, man. Look at the water. Oh, damn. That's beautiful. Got the waves out there, too. I'm on the wrong side of the road. That's not good. Just get blown away sometimes by all this, man. I love looking around at these things, especially first time, too. You know, first time exploring the map. First time looking around. We got a big eyes boss. Excuse me. Woo! I like how the pavement actually plays in to how sticky these tires are, right? I mean, it's kind of cool. I do like it. We can test out different tires, different seasons, and it really does open up a lot of doors on this game, right? I mean, just things that you normally wouldn't do, you're now forced to do those, and I personally like that, man. I really do. I think this year's going to be a lot of fun. It shows I'm in fifth. I guess I just don't have... I don't have five years of this thing. That's all. We got a lighthouse up here. You see this lighthouse? Uh, yep. Gotta drift the lighthouse. There we go. You know what? Let's just drift this shit. We're at the beach. Right in the water. What other game can you do this shit, man? This is crazy. We're at the beach. With our Dean Carney damn Dodge Viper out here. And I see a jump. Yep. Ooh, shit. I told you, man, this game has so much elevation. So much room for huge jumps out here. This is going to be a fun year. I don't know what that is over there. It looks like a damn castle, to be honest with you. Shows I've driven the road yet, but I don't think I've actually been over there. This car is all over the road, man. So much power on this thing. That's a goddamn castle if I've ever seen one. We must have just went past that as we were coming in. We can actually go into the castle. Oh, I'm going in there. Excuse me. Yep. There we go. Castle explored. Thank you. No shit. For sale. How much is this thing? 10 mil? It's got to be like 10 mil. All these houses are just stupid expensive right here. So, 10 I think I might be mil. able to hook you up with a castle. 
call it'd be this in partnership shit. with National oh Heritage, and you'd have to let visitors tour the museum and maybe your car collection, but come on, a castle. Yeah, sir, how the hell am I supposed to pay for that shit right now? But it does lead me to believe, like, are we going to get some really big cash some point in time? Like, why are these so expensive, eh? That's crazy. All right, we got a nice little castle area here. This looks pretty damn nice. This actually would be a really good king spot if they uh, locked all this stuff. Like, can we go in here? Yeah, we can. Okay. If that... I mean, I don't know. This is just a nice little mini game area, I feel like. Look at this. She's gorgeous. Just kind of cruising around here, just checking this out. Oof. So tempting. Woo! Okay. We explored the castle. That's cool. We got some doom sections over here, looks like. So that's more or less off-roading in that area. So I think we're going to go back towards the city here. And we're going to see what we can do. That thing just whipped right out. Perfect timing, too. Sorry! What is this here? It's a castle. Oh, it's a beauty spot. Thank you. Bambra Castle. I told Kira, if we're going to do Horizon in the UK, we have to make sure it's well defended from the sea. I'm sorry my guy's dancing, but you know. I've yet to see one bucket list challenge pop up actually, which is kind of cool. Which is a little weird, right? I mean, I feel like the bucket list was such a huge thing last year, but I'm sure they're definitely going to be around. We just got to find them all. Hey, Peter. What's up? This winter showcase oh. is going to be incredible. I need a driver I can rely on with a proven record who doesn't mind the cold. What do you say? All I need you to do is catch a train into Edinburgh. We're in the winter, so it's going to be a little bit more bland than usual, right? I mean, the colors and all that. I don't know what the hell this is. What is that? We're going to go with the HSV Malu or Mallow. How do you pronounce that, Dan? I keep, for Jeez. keep forgetting. We have yet to really go on the highway. Look at that. The highway is unexplored. We have yet to touch the highway. We're going on the highway. Oh, first time highway run. Here we go. It's safe to do so. This thing is nice. In 200 yards, turn. I feel like I met this man already when I was in LA. In 400 I'm yards, almost certain I met this man. Sharp right. I gotta see if it's the exact same name or not, but I know he drove this and was looking to get into Formula Drift. That would be pretty cool if it is. I will confirm with that in a turn little bit. Sharp right. I got you. Hold on. This thing handles pretty good though. It's pretty stiff. Feels a lot, say, not easier to drive. It just it feels different, though, than the other cars that we've been driving, which is nice. Like, it feels totally different than the Viper. There we go, yep. Oh, yeah, we need to be in fifth gear for that shit. That's a must. 0.5 miles. Can we get to wherever the hell this was right here? I don't even know what the hell this is. Oh my god. You have yep. arrived at your destination. There we go, back on the highway. So what I think I'm gonna do is actually go this way maybe? These highways look so fun though, man. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's go back up this way. This is gonna make for some really nice highway poles and just really nice driving wheels. I mean, these look really good. Oh, it's a rocket. Oh, I thought. I thought I was just going to tap it, man. No, I went right through the damn thing. Okay. She's on a fit. Yeah, I'm fitting. Whew. Hold your foot down here. We have six gears on this beast. And we have a roundabout coming up. I love it. We'll try for a 360. Oh, I hit the... Uh, I hit it. All right, fifth gear. Let's try something here. Just nice and easy. Look at that. I knew that fifth gear was going to be buttery. Especially with the cold. A little bit of snow on the ground. A lot of horsepower and an angle kit. Anything's possible in this shit. Look at this. God damn. Ooh, look at the angle. That is 
ridiculous. That's a lot of angle out there. 113 roads out of 531. Woo! We're starting to get some storm out here. What is happening? Okay. Feels like it's just safe to be in sixth gear. Man. When you put it in sixth gear, you know you're going to be okay with your foot down, kind of, right? I mean, not, not 100%, but. Oh, shit. Bring it back. Better corner. Don't hit the house. Oh! We're just no lift, six gear. This is this is pretty crazy. Let off for a quick second. Get back on it. Woo! Okay, we're still alive. We're in barn fine territory right now. God damn, man, that was uh, that was pretty crazy right there. That being said, we did explore quite a bit of this. Now the main areas, that was what I was really looking for. This city. Love this city. Can I explore all these sub roads and all that stuff? But it definitely looked like a good area. I'm just curious if we have any fun areas like we did back in, uh, you know, Forza Horizon 3. This looks a little fun. I guess that's the quarry that's right there. We saw that in the demo. But then after that, you know, we don't have. I feel like the map's maybe a little bit smaller, no? I mean, I don't know if it's just me or not, but it just. It feels a little bit smaller. I do know the roads are definitely longer it looks like there's a lot more roads this year but there's not a lot of things to do i feel like places to be i could be wrong we're gonna definitely keep exploring on this map so stay tuned on the channel man make sure you guys do subscribe slap that like button down below as well too if you guys do want to keep seeing more but we got a lot of roads still left to explore so this game is going to be a so we're going to be packed with content for a long time thank you guys so much for watching early access forza horizon 4 gameplay Tell me your thoughts down below about the map. Did you enjoy today's episode? If there's any other cars that you would like to see driven, tell me in the comment section down below. I'm out. Peace.